So I was working on the next long form video for the channel, which should hopefully be done sooner rather than later, when I got sidetracked looking through my followed games on Steam and realized that the Bookwalker had come out, and I had to play it. Well, I got sidetracked once again, but this time for good reason. See, if the giddiness in my voice during the Deceive Inc. video didn't give it away, I am ecstatic for Payday 3. Payday 2 is currently my most played game on Steam, and was originally planned to star in its own O2 video. But plans changed, and I never got to do it the justice it deserves. Maybe one day I'll put it under the microscope of scrutiny that I originally planned for it, but for now, we have some new Payday 3 content to dissect. I've been closely following the development of Payday 3 ever since the first official teaser trailer was dropped, and from then on, I was eagerly awaiting to hear more news. And that's exactly what we got. A hail of information alongside with the confirmation of a release date, which was closer than we all thought. September 21st. Not a lengthy time frame from reveal to release, but still one brimming to the top with speculation and curiosity nonetheless. And now that a playable version of Payday 3 has been given to a lucky few, one of those being yours truly, I figured that I shall add my perspective to the campfire of discussion and provide my thoughts on the overall Payday 3 beta experience. Now, a few housekeeping rules before we start. I won't be criticizing many of the game's small bugs and infrequently repeated issues, such as the heisters occasionally T-posing when entering a lobby, as I'm well aware of this being a beta experience and one primarily for server stability foremost. These things are subject to change and are all small potatoes compared to the general game mechanics and the fundamentals that make Payday 3 what it is. I'll be breaking down the first two days I had access to the beta, and the discoveries we made during the past week in no particular order. I'm also assuming that you have at least heard of Payday 2 before and know the general gist of it. It's a bank robbing 4 player co-op horde shooter left for dead like game. There you go. With that said, let's get into it. August 2nd. I know I just said I'd start with the day I obtained the beta, not the day before, but go with it. A lot of news about Payday 3 using de novo anti-cheat leading up to the beta's release cascaded the problems many players had with the reveal of Payday 3 being an always online experience. Concerns about frame rate, game stability, and mods were all raised, with a statement from Star Breeze not clearing up much of anything. I was just left standing there, watching the carnival show unfold refreshing my email every half hour or so in the hopes I could ride an early invite wave to the beta, but alas, to no avail. I would wake up August 3rd to an email alert at 3am that congratulated me for getting access to Payday 3. I fell back asleep for a few hours, dreaming about the mass murders I would commit in the morning. As soon as I woke up, I began queuing into Payday 3, but as fate would have it, my progress would be impeded by a nebula login error. I read the very scarce information online, which said to just keep queuing and queuing until you get in. So there I was, up at the crack of dawn, attempting to successfully log into an early access preview of an unfinished game that had just gone through the ringer of controversy throughout the past week. But nothing would deter me from playing Paycheck Trace early. It took about an hour of continuous queuing, but eventually I got in, and my excitement was immeasurable. Until my second roadblock right, reared its ugly good. head. I, I, the, resolution. Why is the resolution. OBS so wasn't recording the game properly, so I Wait. switched encoders, which made all my footage look like this. I apologize for not getting the highest quality footage, as the bitrate is definitely questionable at best. But when I eventually make a video on the full release of Payday 3, I won't make the same mistake twice. There was only one heist available, No Rest for the Wicked, which involves stealing from an overstocked secure capital bank in New York. A bank that would slowly drive me insane after several hours of bag moving, hostage negotiations, and general suffering. Well, damn. All right. I wanted to make sure that I picked the lowest of four difficulties. Normal. This was to ensure I was acquainted with the new mechanics and heist objectives early on. Little did I know, I would frequent the two lowest skill difficulties for the majority of the playtime. With no choice but to solo queue for a random lobby, I got matched with two fellow level 1s and a guy who immediately disconnected the second the game started. The perfect payday experience. And starting off, wow, the game looks absolutely gorgeous. I mean, no it doesn't, are you looking at the same chunky pixel soup as I am right now? I thought so. But trust me, 
The controls feel very fluid and weighted, especially compared to the second Payday's incessant weightlessness. It feels realistic while keeping the fun factor of Payday in check. The two starting guns felt wonderfully punchy and weighted, even if enemies are more durable than before. And normal difficulty is no joke. Not that it's Payday 2 Death Sentence 1 down levels of hard, but for a first impression it is leagues more challenging than any of Payday 2's early supplemental difficulties. Enemy SWAT packs a real punch, and the ammo economy on the starter weapons leaves something to be desired. The new armor system makes the infinitely replenishing armor of Payday 2 look like child's play, and actually converts armor bags into a necessary utility. The cosmetics were fun to toy around with, but there were a scarce variety of masks and color customization during the beta, so I sought out to make the most disgusting looking Joker build I could. And I gotta say, I definitely pulled it off. Let's talk about stealth. While I didn't get to experience it fully on my first day, little did I know while writing this I wouldn't experience a full stealth for the beta's entirety, I got a run where we all got pretty far into an attempt. Most of the time, some rando would instantly get spotted by a camera and the heist would turn loud, but we actually made it through most of the heist without getting spotted on one occasion. It just so happens that someone decided to throw a grenade at the table of loot, alerting everyone on the map. Maybe it's a speedrun strat, but I doubt it. My playtime throughout the first day, especially during my first two attempts, was filled with these wonderful moments of discovery as I was able to test out the improved systems and everything just felt so satisfying to pick up on. Like the first time I encountered the dye packs in the vault, almost half of the bags of cash got coated in the blue dye, which I'm pretty sure lowered the reward amount at the end of the heist. So from then on, I got better and better at diffusing them and coordinating with my team. This same growth occurred with many of the game's other systems, such as trading hostages for health between assault ways more efficiently, completing objectives faster and faster, and moving bags with grace and eloquence. Gradually learning the minutia of one single heist was a process I looked forward to throughout the first day, and one that didn't disappoint during my initial 7 hour period. But one thing did leave me disappointed, which was a bug in the beta that prevented infamy challenges from displaying properly during the time I was online. These optional objectives would allow you to level up and unlock new guns and gadgets in the process. I was unable to level up at all during the first day, which really sucked. A Twitter post from the official Payday 3 account acknowledging the bug quelled my fear for the night as I drifted off to sleep with the hopes that the Payday Twitter man's promises would come true the following day. The next morning, I woke from my slumber, disappointed as nothing seemed to be fixed. No matter, I thought to myself. I can still enjoy playing the same heist over and over with very little variation or access to the outside world. But something that did improve my experience handedly is that I wasn't experiencing the beta alone anymore as Mr. Tech Priestess himself was blessed with a divine right to suffer alongside me. So there we were, playing more hours of the same heist in Payday 3 than what's typically advised for the average human, which is zero in case you're wondering. Our dissonance from the actual game's lack of a functioning progression system culminated in some general hilarity all around. Blowing up civilians, shoving a SWAT officer to death, and generally having a carefree attitude changed my perspective on the game. Look at how much fun we were having without any sort of progression system on one heist. Imagine how fun it would be if we could actually level up on multiple heists. This is also ignoring the minor annoyances that partying up with each other brought. We would have to both collectively alt F4 most of the time in order to even group up, and queuing for the heist worked like only half of the time. It was a mess, but hey, it's just a beta. An early beta. Thanks for watching. But in all seriousness, we just kind of accepted how bare bones this trial run would wind up being, and enjoyed ourselves nonetheless. By the time I was about to stop playing for the night, we played one last heist together, and something magical happened. We were granted infamy XP for every heist we had completed, which added up to a large level increase for myself. I was extremely excited as it rekindled my will to continue playing. I had a few skill points to allocate allowing me to test out different mechanics and make actually competent builds. I had immediate access to the beautiful shotgun and revolver, which both pack a satisfying amount of punch. Each shot with the shotgun feels as if you're getting closer and closer to ripping a hole through space time and the revolver can confidently take down most adversaries with one well-placed shot to the teeth. It was wonderful. 
but the other weapons were no slouches either. The marksman rifle was a fantastic addition to the arsenal that could lay waste to herds of SWAT from any range. The SMG was good, but the other assault rifle was honestly overpowered. Not in the same way that the marksman rifle was, no. It was overpowered because of the ridiculous ammo pickup rate. Needless to say, we had a blast with the beta. We had spent hours and hours unlocking weapons and skills, all with the knowledge of it eventually being reset once the beta ended. But we didn't care. It was fun all the same. We didn't play that much longer after these two days, but I wanted to show you guys some of the leftover clips that didn't fit into the structured portion of the video. For instance, I encountered famous YouTuber and Payday 2 lore master K. Noli, or Noli, however you pronounce it, during my second heist. It looks like a piece of 2006 Bigfoot footage still, but trust me, it checks out. It's really funny watching this back because I had no idea how to message him in game and I was really trying to. And I'm pretty sure he never got the private message I sent him after the heist was long completed. Still, a cool little moment nonetheless. Here's a collage of amazing screenshots I took during the beta. It's also worth mentioning that this stupid review I posted the first day of the beta got fairly popular and spiraled out of control a little bit. But no, seriously, thanks for all the awards, guys. During a couple sessions, a bunch of our other friends decided to join the call every now and then, and some of our nuanced conversations happen to be recorded for your viewing pleasure. All with their consent, of course. Yo, 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 resources. Oh, thank God. No, oh my God. God. <laughs> that was amazing timing. Amazing timing. I had to constantly drop and build edge. Yeah, like that's good. Like you're edging. You're edging your builds. Yeah, like it's goddamn. That's fine. Got it. Well, did you see my review? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I, that that that's so. Uh, so the people are that you good? on your review. Yeah, lucky bastard. I think that was a. Uh... Is it crazy? Is that supposed to be crazy? Oh, did someone say that? Of course they did. I think you're gonna be doing game. It's funny. Thank you, Payday Three Twitter. Who the f is this guy who said I was crazy once? Who the f is this? He's great. 145 hours and it's all on warframe ew in destiny <laughs> he has a twitter that's good help 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 they're in my skin that's a good name look at my ping <laughs> he's, trying to, he's trying to dunk it he's just trying to <laughs> what button is it what he button is it <laughs> <laughs> the button for it it's a middle click ping for me the XXD. Okay, this guy's not taking this seriously. That's great. Alright. Hopefully, I'll stop being called now. Okay, now here's the strat. I'm gonna jump on top of the security guy. Why there he is. Security? So I can, like, take him down all stealthily. Look at this guy. What? Look at this guy. Oh my god! <laughs> what the? Oh, are you sure? <laughs> Did you see that? Did you see that? <laughs> That was the funniest thing ever. Did you record it? Yeah, it's it's that was the funniest shit. I like Assassin's Creed into the trash like into the dumpster and I like just grabbed his ass and now no one's no one saw it. Uh, getting away. That is the funniest thing I've ever done. Holy shit. Wait, how the fuck are people playing on PlayStation? And wait, hello? what? Wait, did you see this glitch? This guy's level 32,650. <laughs> He's not, not ready. I'm not in your lobby. Oh, you're not. <laughs> no, I'm in your party, not in your lobby. <laughs> well, that's getting screenshotted. <laughs> Alright, I'm leaving. He's level 32,000. That's, <laughs> that's getting screenshotted. That's a, that's a Dude, bug right there. What the hell? That guy looked at me and didn't do jack shit. But melee does nothing. We learned this. <laughs> <laughs> beat him! Beat him! Beat him! Beat him! <laughs> We're on the lowest difficulty. <laughs> He's up! He's up. <laughs> oh my god! This is why. Look at this. Look how useless melee is. In conclusion, the Payday 3 beta will go down in the history books as the beta of all time. Thanks so much for watching, be sure to check out my other videos and stay tuned for the Unreal Life video, dropping in 30 years.